And now it's 38 People's Favorite Podcast, The Customer's Always an Asshole. Reading your customer horror stories, here are your wine drinking buddies, Michelle and Melissa. So, oh, what are you drinking tonight? Well, tonight I'm drinking wine called Seven Moons. Oh, I love Seven Moons. It's good. It's, I don't know if it's like... Um, it's a blend, right? Yeah. It I should think, be a blend. Yeah. 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 It is a blend because I got one blend and one something else. Mm-hmm. It's a black um, bottle and it's got the moons on it. Yes. Yeah. Even I, Nick liked it. Yeah. And I mean, for what was it like between seven and nine dollars or something? It's like super cheap and it's it's a decent drinking wine and it's a blend like I had it the first time at Marta's and I was like oh my god this is delicious and she's like right she's like it's only like I don't know it depends on your store where you get it but it's like ranges between like eight and nine dollars or whatever I got it at Walmart I feel like it was like nine dollars yeah I mean it's not more than nine I know that I myself am enjoying a glass of La Crema Chardonnay La Crema mm-hmm. after my bubbly at work today yeah that's so nice yeah it's they they tend to have a lot of alcohol when we have parties and celebrations i like it there's always alcohol check out your work website again (laughs) and see if they're hiring and we also were just voted one of the top best companies to work for really Mm -hmm. well congratulations thank you let's keep the drinking going right i mean they had the big fat bottles of chandon that's awesome I love that they're like, fuck it, we're at work, Mm -hmm. and here's some champagne. Always. And they were, like, pouring it, and they're like, there's more bottles. Who wants more? And I was like, oh, my God. Do you know that people have to drive home? I am, you know, not. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, So how are you feeling today with your little adventure yesterday? Oh, luckily, I I took a whole bottle of water, but. um, (laughs) A whole bottle, I feel and I and a lot of food. I ate a yeah. lot today, okay. but yeah, I, Nick won't let me go to any more brunches. I don't think. Aww. <laughs> I think it's really just the snoring at night that he's like, I don't want to deal with that. So he was okay <laughs> you can with drink you. All you want, stay out as long as you want. Just, just don't, don't sleep snore. in here because you snore. So he was okay with you attempting a cartwheel and falling on your head. He doesn't know anything about that. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Censor that out. (laughs) Uh, He doesn't listen to this anyway. (laughs) (laughs) But he has told me that we really need to do like an intro. We can't, we can't do this thing where we're talking to each each other. Okay. We have to do, we have to do like a, hey guys. (laughs) I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It just sounds so um, YouTube to me and. I just, I thought it would be fun just a conversation, but I've been informed that that's not the way that podcasts are supposed to be, so. Back to our intro, we'll have to think of something and record one and then. Yeah, he he thinks we should do more like, uh, hey, it's Michelle and Melissa, thanks for listening to Customers Always an Asshole. Tonight we're going to be talking about, and then talk more to them than we do to each other. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I was like, I guess that kind of makes sense because who wants to jump into the middle of a conversation they're not a part of, I guess. Yeah. No, I get it. It just, it happens to be like, that's just how a natural flow I think is when I hey, get on. Hey, I think our 38 listeners are <laughs> <laughs> don't have a problem. <laughs> well, cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> okay. So tonight we will be discussing restaurant tit cussing (laughs) when you cuss at your tits (laughs) because they're pussy (laughs) pussy (laughs) boobs um so i reached out to one of the my favorite murder groups Mm -hmm. that i'm in and said hey we need your restaurant customer horror stories and did Mm. they deliver i (laughs) i can't even tell you like it was hard to keep up with how many um, messages I got. So huge shout out to them. I don't know if I should say the name because I don't want people to oh, be yeah. like joining all these 38 people to be joining uh, <laughs> the 
my favorite murder group, but okay, here we go. Let's jump right in. So these are customers being assholes in restaurants. Mm, Uh, Tori. Yeah. This has got to be one of the worst places that people are assholes. And I feel like it's kind of like the, the root of Mm -hmm. assholes and it Mm -hmm. blossoms from there into everything else. Oh boy. So I have to start with this one because we were talking about this in the last one. Um, So Tori says, a woman ordered a plain cheeseburger and I said, okay, to be clear, a cheeseburger with nothing on it. She said, yes, I brought her a plain cheeseburger. She looked at me dead in the eye and said, um, there's cheese on here. That's what a cheeseburger is. What do you mean? She made (laughs) me bring it back and refused to pay for the meal. Oh my God. So people don't know what a hamburger is. Apparently not, because I think I've told you before that I actually ordered a cheeseburger with no cheese. And the waiter <laughs> said, you mean a hamburger? Wait, was it me? Yeah. Was no. it? Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, so. so I had to start with that one. It's almost like that person was doing it on purpose, like to see what would happen, sort of. You know what I mean? Like you can't be especially a grown adult, you can't be that stupid to not know to order a hamburger versus a cheeseburger. And the hamburger was first. (laughs) Right. It's like saying a virgin screwdriver to order orange juice. (laughs) Yeah. How it works. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I don't understand that. And then to be an asshole and refuse to pay for your meal and come on. Yeah. That was your fucking fault. Yeah. And who doesn't like cheese? Come on. Yeah, something's wrong. I'm, I'm, I am really a firm believer that if you do not like cheese, something is wrong with you. Yeah, you can't be our friend. You can't sit with us. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nikki says a guy made me cry when I was working at McDonald's for six dollars an hour because I forgot one of his five ordered sandwiches. I had been there less than a month, and I wasn't the one who filled the bag. A manager filled it and handed it to me to give to him. My manager, Barb, I love the name, Barb, told me if he came back to point him out so she could tell him he was banned from the restaurant. Barb stood up for her employees. I miss her. I'm sorry, but $6 an hour is a not enough money for me to be crying at my job. No amount of money is. Let's just no. say that. But I don't think it's fair to get, I don't know. I'm trying to be humble here because I know that I've gone through drive-thrus and I'm like, oh, they got my order wrong. But I've never been a complete dick about it. That's what, yeah, you're not going to be a jerk. Yeah. I'll I'll either just eat it and just be like, whatever. Because, I mean. Right. Or you'll politely say there's something missing. Oh, I actually, yeah, I forgot. Oh, it should have been this. Yeah, because it happens all the time. Orders are messed up all the time right and but for somebody have... making six dollars an hour i mean it's just let it go yeah you don't you're the one at the drive through yeah <laughs> okay oh, goodness all right you'll appreciate this one okay because it has to do with celiac oh boy okay don't so get me fired up gabby says i worked at a dessert kitchen and my best friend worked there too she has celiac mm-hmm. disease and has a hard time putting on weight At the time, her health was really compromised and she was skin and bones. She went to a table of these older white women who were looking at the menu. She greeted them and said, sorry, and then they said, we're looking for your dessert, your best dessert in here. Took a glance at my friend and said, not that you'd know since you look like you've never had dessert in your life. So rude. That is very rude. And I have a friend that is very thin, but she's just naturally thin. She could eat fast food and crap all the time, and she would just be naturally thin. And people would always say, like, you thin. Like, oh, my God, you're so thin. And she's like, I don't like that. It's not not something I can control. It's Well, it's rude. I mean, it doesn't matter the person's weight, whether they're underweight, overweight, whatever the case may be. It's no one else's place mind your business right it's not your place to judge or make a comment whether or not you know this person it doesn't matter it's not okay 
why would you ever say that to somebody like to their face? Yeah. Were you just and smoking a bowl? Me? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it no. sounded like a bong. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, I'll have to Long listen. Long gone the days that I've done that. <laughs> Maybe we should start again. <laughs> I did just order my CBD oil though. So I'm excited to try that and see if it helps with my anxiety. Um, but going back to like, whether you're overweight or too skinny, I do know that it does bother the majority of people who are underweight when you make a comment about it. It's not yeah. being very skinny is not all it's cracked up to be. And I, and I know firsthand from my daughter because she is one of those people that is very skinny and mm -hmm. no matter what she does, and this girl can eat, she can drink, like no matter what she does, she's just thin. She, naturally she, thin. Naturally thin. She tries to put weight on, she can put a little on, but she's just that way. And she gets upset when people make comments like, oh, are you anorexic? Are you bulimic? Or yeah. um, just, you know, whatever comments they say. And they'll, they'll make their comments too, like, oh, must, must be rough. Because she'll say like, it's not easy being this skinny, you know? And, yeah. and you have to think about too, like, especially as a woman, the older you get, you realize that your body is, is meant to, for most of us have curves and have volume to it. And clothes do tend to fit better and look better on certain bodies. And when you're mm -hmm. that skinny, nothing fits you. Nothing looks like it's supposed to. And it's, it's just as upsetting to them as it would be for someone who is overweight and gets called names. You know what I mean? It's just, right. it's not okay. Or you wouldn't say that to people that are, I, I mean, it's not typical for people to say that to people that are overweight. Like, right. oh my God, you're so big. Like nobody says that, but they'll totally be like, oh my God, you're so skinny. Like it's no big you deal. I remember my, yeah. yeah, yes. Most people wouldn't, but there are people who will comment to people about being overweight and, but I, I, I get what you're saying and I agree. It's just or not okay. Dicks. And I just can't believe someone would say that. I know, and to, it's so sad. You know, even if someone is not naturally skinny, but maybe they are going through something, maybe they have a disease, maybe they have cancer, maybe they're going through treatment, or you just don't know what someone's going through on a day to day basis. Keep your fucking thoughts to yourself. Yeah. Mind keep your me. mouth shut. Just zip it. Zip, zip the it. pie hole up. Zip it. <laughs> Shove pie in that hole. Just shush. Asshole. Assholes. <laughs> okay. 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 Next. Mm -hmm. Kelly says, Worked fast food from 14 to 18, I'm assuming age, and had a huge muscly driver storm in, literally foaming at the mouth because his sandwich has mayo on it and he asked for no mayo. Wow. I'm literally 14 years old, standing there like, oh, I'm sorry, did you maybe have another sandwich in there with no mayo? And he is like uncontrollably pissed, literally ripping his bag apart in our face yelling that I'm a fucking bitch for even implying he is mistaken. His no mayo sandwich was there. He did not apologize. Okay. I have two thoughts on this. <laughs> Do tell. My first thought is uh, 14. It's illegal to work. You actually have to be 15 because you have <laughs> to have true. a permit from school. <laughs> Maybe this is like in Canada or something. So. Oh my God. We're getting I... we're in trouble. I don't know where she was working, but shame on that restaurant. <laughs> shame on that fast food restaurant. And secondly, <laughs> there are two different ways you could look at Mr. Mayo. <laughs> Mr. Either, Mayo. either he really is just. Maybe mayonnaise is his Satan. Uh -huh. It's the devil incarnate. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit the podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast woohoo, with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. There you go. So oh this same God. Kelly okay. said... The 14-year-old? Yes. Okay. <laughs> working, working at the fast food. Illegally working. 
Kelly, who's illegally working at fast food restaurants, said she <laughs> also has a regular, quote unquote, who would literally whisper the smallest whisper into the drive through and ask for Sprite. He was always served a fry. Like, I guess they heard fry instead of Sprite. Oh. Every time, every time chaos trying to figure out what he is saying. Every time <laughs> he was confused when he got the bag of fries. It was maddening. So, <laughs> one... <laughs> I'm thinking of the Dane Cook skit. I don't know if you know that when they're like, mm -hmm. I want bun seeds. Bun <laughs> anyway, look it up. Dane's Dane Cook. Uh, I guess it's like drive through drive through window or something like that. Okay. Um, also, she says every time. So I'm wondering, is there a different employee every time? Because at that point, yeah. wouldn't you just be like, just give him a Sprite? <laughs> I think this well, is the Sprite guy. And how <laughs> it's the Sprite guy. Sprite how guy. often every time? How often is he fucking rolling through there? <laughs> <laughs> to get a sprite go to the store and buy a six pack dude leave these poor people alone they're not even legal to be working there <laughs> i mean of legal age sorry All right <laughs> Jeez. oh my god well i don't know if i can really call him the asshole because technically <laughs> he's a paying customer I wonder All if he, he paid for his fries, if he got the fries <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll pay for these too. <laughs> or no, he was probably like, oh, okay, I'll pay for these too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after it happened the first time he caught on and was like, I'm just going to keep doing this and I'm going to get some free fucking fries out of this place. <laughs> yeah, every these time. assholes are stupid and think I'm saying fries. Go in. Take your lazy ass out of the drive through yeah, I mean, there is an asshole here. I'm just not sure which who it is yet. <laughs> I can't can't figure out. I have to. I'm gonna have to ruminate on this one. <laughs> ruminate. Let's <laughs> let that one marinate. Yeah. <laughs> Kendra says, "I used to work at a brunch place that had really great cinnamon rolls. We closed at three every day, but this one lady was at the door at like three o five and really wanted a cinnamon roll." I decided to be nice and got her one and ran her card while she waited outside. When I brought her roll out and the receipt to sign, she literally said to me, I know I should tip you, but I'm not going to. Okay. I thought this is a good one. This is a good one because it fucking pissed me off. So, and then Kendra wow. writes like, then just don't tip. But I made an exception for you because you just had to have a roll after we closed. I was surprised at how many people would say, I should tip you, but I'm not going to write to my face. Why would you That's say just, that? Yeah. Just like, don't like, tip. Just but don't you're tip. the one there at 305. Right. You should it, tip because it's poor. They went to, like, yeah. out of her way for you. Yeah. Because let, no. let's talk about tips for a minute here. Yeah. If I, people I, don't know the uh, restaurant industry, you rely on tips. Right. And I found out not too long ago that in Europe, they get paid like a decent salary. So they oh. don't rely on tips and they actually like nobody's expected to tip there. It's like you oh. going to your job now and they tip you. Yeah. Which, uh, I, I'm not my tip is me. I'm getting paid to be here. Yeah. And, well, and champagne. You got champagne. So. Mm -hmm. but, but I also believe that if you're going to work in an industry where tipping is typically, you know, something that happens, you felt you got to earn your tip though. I'm sorry. Cause you're already getting paid oh, to be definitely. there to do your job, but you have to earn it. But it is a drastically lower rate because when tips are involved, mm -hmm. they don't get paid like the normal minimum wage. So 
so if they don't get tipped, they get paid better. If they get tipped, they get paid less. No, if they work at a restaurant that, you know, you kind of rely on your tips, they can pay you less. Oh, I see. So they can pay you like four bucks an hour instead of the minimum wage of what, like 15 or whatever it is now. Yeah. So because they expect that you're going to get tips and those are your like bread and butter. Mm -hmm. Quick sidebar. Uh, What I'm talking about here is called tipped wage. And what a tipped wage is defined as per Wikipedia is a base wage paid to an employee that receives a substantial portion of their compensation from tips. And it basically depends on which state you are working in because you could work in Alabama where the minimum wage is $7.25, but you're only paid $2.13 an hour because they're expecting your compensation to mainly come from tips. Which is kind of fucked up because not everybody tips. Or they tip shitty. Right. Or you don't deserve tips. Right. All of these things apply. Yes. But you don't tell someone, I should tip you, but I'm not going to. Right. So unless the waiter was awful and was horrible to you and verbally abused you or any of those things. Right. You they never say punched yeah. you in the face when you sat down in the booth. Right. Probably wouldn't tip. Yeah. No, not <laughs> at all. That makes that person an asshole. Yes. Huge asshole. I just want someone out there to know that if I called last minute and you were able to serve me a nice, warm, fresh, gluten free cinnamon bun. To my car, yeah. I would tip you. Yeah. I would tip you. Biggest asshole award goes to that person. <laughs> yeah. The cinnamon roll lady. <laughs> this is a good one. Okay. Okay. Lindsay says she worked at a wine bar slash several course dinner type place. A woman asked her for an entree fork. She still had a clean fork on the table, but I got her another clean fork and said, here's another clean fork for you to use, but just so you know, or just so you are aware, all of our forks are the same size. She took it and looked at me and said, your mother didn't teach you that entree forks are different than salad forks? Shame on her. Shame on her. Mm. I t- <laughs> this is the best part. I told her my mom was dead, so she never got around to it. Side note, my mom is not dead. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I love it. Probably horrible karma, but I'm like, good because that uh, look yeah. on the chick's face must have been like, oh, sorry. Well, this is going back to the whole weight thing. It's not your place to tell someone how they should have been raised. Right. <laughs> don't question someone's mama. <laughs> you don't it's talk not- about my mama. It's not your place. What you say Deal about the my fact mama? that the forks are the same goddamn size. They all fucking work the same anyways. That's what pisses me off. No There's shit. no need for two different size forks. It's just stupid. It's a waste. It is just. Ugh. God, Think about the people so that have to do the dishes in those places that they have yeah. like soup spoon, dessert spoon, regular fork, entree fork, salad fork, fucking forks on forks. And then they have the. <laughs> I don't know, what a fork nice metropolis. fork and a fork and a pork and a fork and a fucking um, shit. Seriously, we we have two different size forks in our uh, utensil drawer because that's typically when you buy silverware. That's how it comes. You get the two sizes, and I just think it's stupid. It's it's great because it gives us double the amount of forks, but like, what really is the point? It all picks up your food the same goddamn <laughs> way. I always thought the smaller ones were for children. <laughs> and you know what? My hands are small. I gladly would take a smaller fork. Yeah, I do like smaller forks. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's enough of our yapping for now. But stay tuned for more episodes on the restaurant series. Y'all come back now and don't be an asshole. This is Melissa. And this is Michelle. Thanks for listening. Send your asshole stories to aholestories at gmail.com. Text or leave a message at 
702-551-2011. Standard rate supply. And don't forget, don't be an asshole. Bye. Thank you.